Hey, greetings. Welcome to the Channel 8 Newsroom on a Friday. Dave Cravassier here at 8newsnow.com. Of course, on our news today, we'll be following the aftermath of the earthquake and the giant tsunami uh, all around the Pacific, including, of course, Japan. We're going to be talking to some people here who have relatives uh, in the hardest hit area of Japan. They say they are not able to get a hold of their friends and relatives, so we'll be covering that aspect. And we'll also be talking live to someone in Hawaii who witnessed what happened when the waves came ashore there. Sixty years on the Strip, and now now uh, the uh, Sahara is going to be closing its doors. That means about a thousand people will be losing their jobs. The owners of the Sahara say it is just no longer economically viable to keep that property open. You'll enjoy seeing the pictures today of a giant smokestack down in Laughlin from an old coal-fired plant that hit the ground today on purpose. On the heels of yesterday's outcry over the shuffling of staff at five different local high schools, a new rally today protesting against proposals to cut funding, cut federal funding to the Head Start program. Run and Rebels continue their winning ways, we hope, in the tournament today, the Mountain West Tournament. UNLV taking on sixth-ranked San Diego tonight. And, of course, the iPad being released at 5 p.m. this evening. Those stories and a whole lot more coming up on our news between 4 and 6.30. We'll see you then, okay?